Hey guys, Dr. Nate here. So we're going to be talking about why rice, rest, ice, compression, elevation might actually be wrong for your acute injury and be slowing your recovery process. All right, so let's get right into it. Hey guys, Dr. Nate for our weekly fireside chat where I answer your burning questions. This week we're going to be talking about the rice protocols, rest, ice, compression, elevation. I had some patients asking me, what should I do? Should I ice it? Should I heat it? Uh, so we're going to dive into that a little bit and talk about how that actual protocol is outdated. Um, so let's get right into it. Of the rice protocols, the two most important, rest and ice. So let's dive into rest. Why is rest maybe not good? So your tissues are constantly healing along lines of stress. So think of it like a cast. Now, if I had a fracture, yes, you want to get it casted so it doesn't, so it's allowed to heal. So I've had a cast before, and you're not moving any of this, and your body is still breaking down and healing, going through the healing process. Even more, it's not injured. We're always healing. Um, so instead of the tissues healing along lines of stress, they're going to heal all these different directions. So then I lose that range of motion. So a lot of research is showing the sooner you get it moving, the better your results and the better your recovery because it allows those tissues to heal and then you don't have to rehab quite as much before you get back to your activity. Number two, ice. So this is a very gray area. There's not a lot of research showing uh, the benefits of ice versus heat. Uh, it's really subjective. So what is it doing to your body? Ice is actually a vasoconstrictor, so it decreases blood flow, it constricts down, um, so it's decreasing the inflammation of the area. Heat does the opposite, it vasodilates, so there's more blood flow to the area. Well, what is blood flow? Blood flow is a bunch of nutrients going to the area that are actually healing the tissues. So you don't want too much blood flow because it can cut off, too much swelling can cut off cir circulation and blood supply to the area. So it's a very great area. Ice actually decreases pain. So I would rather you use ice than NSAIDs like Aleve or anything like that. I'd rather you use ice because it actually decreases your body's sensation of pain. Heat is great for muscles and relax. Last, compression elevation. I'm gonna kind of bunch together because basically these are getting into decreasing the inflammation into the area. Now you don't want too much inflammation. You can get things like such as compartment syndrome. Um, so you don't want too much of it, but you still want some inflammation because as I stated earlier, inflammation is the body's attempt of healing the area. Why, when I roll my ankle, does it swell up? Well, th there's a reason for it. The body's sending all these nutrients to the area so that it can heal. So the compression and the elevation, um, I'll get more into this in the research articles, but basically they're saying, you know, if you think it feels better, do it. You know, when you compress it or when you elevate it, you put it above the heart level. So say my foot, I'm going to put it up here and it's going to help drain all that inflammation. Compression is going to keep it from getting too inflamed. Uh, but this comes into everyone kind of has their own opinion on it. It's kind of a gray area. Do you need to compress and elevate? Uh, this may vary from doctor to doctor, but like I said, the ice, the rest and the ice are the most important. That may not be the best. We want to get it moving. So, All right, so that's it for this week's fireside chat, talking about the rice protocols. Now, like I said, the next two videos, we're going to be going a little more in depth. I found two published journal articles that I really enjoy that give you different acronyms that are more updated and more evidence-based. Um, so be looking for those next two videos. All right, guys, thanks and have a good weekend.